Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing really, really well. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys a story time about the time that I met a literal Swedish prince and how it was just all too good to be true. Okay, maybe he wasn't a Swedish prince, but oh my freaking God. He looked like one, he acted like one. He just all around was amazing. I'm just still trying to figure all of this out. Let me start. True story. So if you guys know my life, you would know that a couple of months ago, I went on a Contiki tour. I made one friend in particular, let's call her Samantha. Now, Samantha was single. She just loved talking to guys, party, all of that kind of good stuff. And I knew nothing about that because before my ex-boyfriend, I had another boyfriend of two years back to back and let's just say I was 15. So this is like my first like kind of real, like being single for the first time, basically. Samantha came at the right time back in August 2019 and she was teaching me all of the ropes. She was like, yeah, like these days, guys, like they're super nice and all, but they're really scared and intimidated of girls. Like you have to be the one that tries, goes up to them. So we literally were out every single night basically in Europe. We end up going to this bar. It is a 360 bar in Warsaw. It's absolutely hecking beautiful and you go up it's really really high you take the lift it's really bougie and you go kind of in the middle of the building first and then you get like face controlled like screened and stuff so this was one of the last nights of Contiki and everyone decided to come from our group so we went up there as a group and we got our own table and we were like let's get drinks so me and Samantha have been like shooting down drinks with our friends just talking laughing there was an awesome atmosphere it was just a lot of like businessy people a lot of beautiful like European people like everyone was very lean tall just like everyone was having a good fun happy time and it was good vibes we were like scoping the place out we were like oh yeah like we need to go dance we need to do this like we need to you know make the most out of our last night in Warsaw basically but we were like finishing our drinks so we went over to the bar again and we were standing there and by this time okay it has already gotten so freaking busy and we start waiting in line for a really long time you know how you stand there and you do nothing and you're kind of like dead on dead ass staring into the soul of the poor bartender to like serve you Please serve me. basically in my peripheral vision see literally like a beaming light and I turn around and instead of staring into the soul of the bartender I turn my face to the left and see possibly the most beautiful man that I've ever seen in my entire life okay it's safe to say it was probably the most beautiful man that I've ever seen in my entire life Imagine, six foot five, so tall, I'm looking at him like, like you are so freaking tall. And tan as hell, like buttery, smooth skin without a single pimple spot. I'm not saying that that's what I'm attracted to, but it just worked for him, you know? And he just had thick, like dark blonde eyebrows and like a blonde mane of hair. But it was like not too long, it was just like, this you know guys what I'm describing to you is my type six foot a that's my type yeah that's my type legit though like guys this is just the beginning like afterwards it just keeps getting better and better and better and then it just slowly freaking died but I'm getting too ahead of myself so I turn around and my eyes must have been like crazy and Samantha has a good eye I didn't tell her anything because I know I know her. She's a crazy ass bitch. No offense, Samantha. I love you. She's so intuitive. She knew. She was like, that guy, huh? Let's talk to him. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna be so awkward. So she's like, no, 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 you gotta start learning. You gotta start somewhere, girl. So like, might as well. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. She's like, do it. We were kind of quiet and he was maybe five meters away from us. And I look at him again and he's looking at me and he's smiling. I look back at Samantha and I'm like, oh my God, he just smiled at me. And she's like, Girl, just ask him where he's from. That's all you gotta do. Open your mouth and say, where are you from? So I'm like, oh, okay. I look at him again, I smile, and he smiles back. Without me doing anything, he literally moves so close to me, like right next to me, right? And I'm like, okay, well, I've gotten myself into this now. There's no turning back, so I may as well just say it. So, where are you from? In pure English. Like, what if he was fully Polish and he was just going out on a night? Like, why was just I so quick to assume that he knows how to speak English? I mean, I know Russian, but it's not like I can speak Russian, especially in Poland. Yikes. He looks at me dead in the eyes and he's like, 
Sweden, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm from Sydney, Australia. He's like, oh, what are you drinking tonight? And I'm like, vodka soda lime. And he's like, that's cool. And then he's just staring at me, like just literally smiling and staring at me. And like, I don't know what it is about guys, but they just have a tendency to do that, I found. And it's like, they're waiting for me to say something. And I'm just like, you should be the one insinuating and starting conversations with me. I have no idea what to say. Anyways, he goes on to ask me like what I'm doing in Poland, start telling him about Kentucky and that I'm with a group and he's like, are you having fun? And we basically just start having like a really casual conversation about why I'm here. And then I ask him why he's here. And he says that he is from Sweden, this city. It's the same city that PewDiePie is from. What? Subscribe to PewDiePie, do your part. I've already subscribed to PewDiePie on all three of my accounts, so you know, I'm doing the most. I was like, oh, you're Swedish, because of course you are. When I looked up at him, when he started talking to me about my trip, why did he have the clearest, most beautiful, like crystal blue eyes in the entire world? Like, what are you doing to me? Basically, he had every single feature except for stubble. Oh my God, I am a sucker for stubble. Every single feature, over six foot, check. Blue eyes, check. Blonde hair, check. Tan ass, hot ass skin, check. Ethnic, Check. I mean, I don't know if you guys consider Sweden to be like an ethnic country, but I do because it has its own history, it has its own culture. It was still like a little something something, you know what I'm saying? So, I am drinking my new vodka soda lime and he gets his wallet out, looks at my drink and is about to order for me to drink more. But then he doesn't and it's really, really weird. And then his friend pops up and tries to talk up my friend Samantha. In my opinion, he wasn't very attractive, his friend, and Samantha didn't think so either. So. She kind of let the conversation die down and she sort of ran away. And so because she ran away, I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm just gonna dip. I'm just gonna, you know, see my friend. Like, what is she doing over there? So I was like, oh, cool. It was really nice to meet you. Like, whatever. So I go back. I'm drinking. We're having fun. We're getting a little bit loose. And she's like, why did you leave? Like, you should have stayed and, like, talked to him and stuff. Grabs my hand and she's like, this is literally the most gorgeous boy that both of us have ever seen in our lives. You need to freaking go for it. Like, at least just talk to him, get to know him, he can get your number. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen, right? I am really just adamant and like, I'm a little bit rusty. So I'm like, no, like I feel like shy, like whatever, but I like want to, but I'm like shy, like, I don't know, like, but she's just pushing me. So she literally grabs my hand and because the bar is 360, it literally rotates around like this and it's just oh, it's so beautiful. You can see literally the entire view of Warsaw, Poland. We're literally walking around this freaking circle and it's like a huge ass circle, right? And it's super, super packed, just trying to find him. but. Luckily, he's literally a giant. Like, when I say six foot five, I'm actually not exaggerating. Like, when I talked to him, my neck was hurting. I was like, oh, like, oh my, like, so attractive, so beautiful. Like, he had like full lips as well that were like kind of red, you know? Like, they weren't like thin, like, like, oh, oh my goodness. So, it's pretty easy to find him because his head and he's just freaking huge. So, we end up like freaking shoving everyone out of the way. Not really. We're just like walking past and stuff and like heaps of guys were like, hey, what's up? Can I just say a quick side note? If you guys are living in Europe, if you're a guy, kudos to you, man, because so many guys actually like approach women and that is like so much respect. I feel like in Australia, no one really approaches you, at least not from my experience. I don't know. Anyways, we're walking around and we see him and she's like, Girl, like just bump into him or whatever. I don't want to like come up to him, right? And be assertive. That's what I kept on saying. Like my whole thing is like, you need to make the move. I'm not making the move. I'm going to like throw you some hints and like, you know, kind of flirt with you, but you need to make the move, basically. I'm just like walking past with Samantha and he literally sees me and he just like grabs my arm and he's like, Hey, where'd you go? And I'm like, Oh, that's my type, yeah, that's my type. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, you know, I was just partying with my friends and grabs me and he's like, you know, you sound like you have an accent, like, are you from anywhere else? And I say, oh, I'm from Russia and his face just dropped and he's like, Russia? 
Yikes. We started talking about Russia. I'm like, why are you saying it like that? And we like kind of had a little bit of banter of like how Russia's like seems so intimidating when it's really not. He's like, Russians just look really rude and they just never smile and like I would never want to go to Russia. And I'm just, like kind of tipped I'm like, go to Russia, you should definitely go to Russia. Like you love Russia, Russia's awesome, and I just keep talking about Russia and stuff. So as I got closer to him, he was wearing a decked out like grey suit. He was looking fine, like dapper as hell, clean. The suit was tailored to his body broad shouldered like I was just trying to keep my cool I'm like okay there has to be something wrong with this guy my brain is turned to mush and I'm just like yeah like so what do you do and he's like I'm a businessman like I work in an office and basically he was like so my birthday was a couple of months ago but I'm here for my birthday party for my 30th birthday party first of all I'm like wait why are you here a couple of months not weeks not days, a couple of months after your birthday, for your birthday. He took his brother, he took like two or three of his friends, and he's just like, We just didn't have time because we're such businessmen. We work in the financial district. Whenever someone tells me about their job, you know that like the Chandler meme where it's like no one knew where he was like actually working? I'd be doing data reconfiguration and statistical factoring. Wait, I think I know someone who does that. Me. I do that. Like, people start talking about their office jobs and I just zone out and I don't understand what they mean. I just know that they work in the business district. But it's something to do with financial management, something like really high up, apparently, supposedly. And then he's like, So yeah, I'm 30. Like, yeah, I'm 30. Like, do you think, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm 23. At this point, was I 23? I was 23. Oh, do you think that I'm old? Like, do you think that I'm too old? Like, I feel so old. I'm like, my guy, like 30 is not old. Like I do not consider 30 being old at all. First of all, like, like I'm six years away from 30. Saying that out loud terrified me just then. What? I'm still in my head a 16 year old girl. Anyways, he just started like talking about all of his insecurities to me. He was a little bit drunk as well, really tipsy. And like in between like our little conversations of him trying to figure out what to say, or I don't even know, he didn't look like he was thinking to be honest. In between those tiny little like moments where we finished our conversation, but he still wanted to talk to me, he would literally look at me like this. Like with such like adoration, like smiling, like so in awe of me. He's like, you're so different. And I'm like, red flag number two, like fuckboy material saying I'm different. Like different from what? Different from who, where, who is she? Like, what do you mean? Everyone is different. Like, you don't even know me, my guy. He's like, yeah, you're so different. Like, you look so shy and like so intimidating, but like, you're so kind. Like, I can just see it in your eyes. You have really kind eyes. And I'm like, okay, cool, <laughs> thank you. And he just kept on repeating himself how beautiful I am and how like pretty my eyes are. And I'm just like, Thank you. And I like, I believe that I said you're not so bad yourself a couple of times and I'm just like, you know you're really attractive too, right? He's like, man, I don't know, like, <laughs> this is the thing that shook me, like blew me away. He's like, I don't know, do you think I'm a good person? I don't, to me, you seem like a really nice person. Like, you seem really kind, you seem really caring. Like, I didn't know what to say. For all I knew, he was a sociopath, like, what? Started just talking about different topics and then I was like, okay, cool, like it's been a minute. I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna bounce, I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna find my friend. His like friends were like kind of behind him, like staring at me and like, like smiling and stuff. So he went back to them and then she's like, oh my God, how was it? I told her about it. She's like, yeah, like don't worry, like whatever. Like you're just chatting, like blah, blah, blah. So we're just like dancing and stuff. And then we go to the very front where the DJs are. We're just having the time of our lives. We go at the top of like, where the DJs are playing on top of the stage and it's like a tiny stage with like two barricades and then they're like, the barricades are higher and then there's like a DJ playing like throughout the entire club. And me and Samantha just climb on top of the two barricades and just start dancing like this in front of the entire club. And then like we go down and we're just having fun. We're talking to all the people at Contigi and stuff. And then like through the corner of my eye, I just keep darting around because like, I'm just like interested. Like what is he doing? Like I see him like with another girl just like talking and stuff. And I'm like, cool, whatever. Like I don't owe you, you don't owe me. Like whatever, like cool. I like look back again in like, I don't know, 10 minutes and I don't see her. And I don't see him, like they're not there anymore. But like Samantha was like, we gotta find him again. What the hell? Like he's like talking to other girls. Like I'm like, okay, this time no, I'm gonna say no. Like it's it's a no from me, dog. It's a no from me. And she's like, he's so beautiful. Like just talk to him. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. Like we're just having fun. Like we have nothing else to do. Like we're girls. Like we talk to people from Kentucky. Like let's just scope around the bar. So I'm like no, 
around. She's like, um, if you're not going with me, I just need to find someone. And I'm just going to be walking around the bar until I do. And, and I'm just like, no. So I go with her. And we're walking around. And then he's just like sitting at the booth like with his brothers and his like friends and like whatever the girl isn't inside and I'm just like no like obviously whatever like he has to come to me and at this time she's like okay like I agree with you so we go back to the dance floor and after like 10 minutes he comes back onto the dance floor and he looks at me and I don't like smile I don't look at him I have like resting bitch face so like people think that I'm angry he later on told me that he was looking at me he was trying to find me we're dancing and he's so close and it's really awkward because he sees me I see him sorry I was like am I recording I see him hello hello it's me hi I'm dancing he's dancing kind of further away but still in vision and he just wouldn't like come up to me I wouldn't come up to him <sighs> tell me why Samantha pushed me into him tell me what like on on God why why Samantha why do you want to G up do you want to G up genuinely I was so embarrassed his friend was just like and just bounce on Samantha. Samantha's like, why? Oh my god, I'm taking you in for the team. I'm such a good wingman. I'm like, no, you're not. I hate you. I get pushed into him, right? And it's like a scene from a movie. Slow motion. I'm just getting pushed. The gravity pushing me and pushing me. And I just land in his arms. My head is on his chest. And I look up at him. And he looks down at me. And we lock eyes. And it's so romantic. I'm just like, okay, this is weird. And so I like go up and he's just like, hey, like I've been looking all over for you. And I'm, and I'm just like, mm, I'm pretty sure you were because like, last time I checked, you saw me so many times and you didn't come up to me. I didn't say that. I was like, oh, really? Yeah, like I've just been dancing, having fun, which I have been. And he's like, but are you mad at me? Because I kept on trying to like smile at you and look at you and you just look really angry. Like, did I do something wrong? And I'm like, I just have a resting bitch face. He's like, what's that? And I'm like explaining it to him. He's like this hot Swedish accent. And I'm just like, damn. We start talking again and he's like I had so much fun talking to you. You just are one of a kind, like you just look so different. When are you leaving? And I'm like, tomorrow morning I wake up at 6 a.m. He's like, Do you have a number like that I can call you on? Or do you not have one? I'm like, I have a number. And he's like, Can I have it? And I'm like, fine, like whatever. Oh. In my head I'm like, oh, fly me out to Sweden, Daddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> nah, not really. I'm so joking. Guys, this is all a freaking joke. So I give him my number. He calls me. I have his number, right? I don't know if I asked for his name. I don't remember, but I just call him Swedish Prince. So we're just dancing. At this point, like, no contact has been happening. I'm like, wow, he's such a gentleman. Like, he's not even trying to hook up with me. He's literally just talking to me. Like, that's so nice. That's so sweet. We dance for a couple of songs, and then he's like, all right, like, takes me to the corner of the bar, and we just get to talk. And when I say I have no idea what we were talking about, for four hours, I don't know what we were talking about for four hours, but we were talking for four, it was 4 a.m. in the club. And like the only reason I figured that out was because my Contiki group was like, we're going home now. And Samantha was like, oh girl, are you, are you going with us? And I'm just like, what do you mean? I'm not like that. Of course I'm going with you. Please take me with you. Like what? I didn't even know it was 4 a.m. So we literally had been talking for hours and she was like, like you guys hit it off. Like we were just like nonstop talking, 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 talking. And it was like really fun. And I really clicked with him. Oh, European boys. Throughout this entire time, he weaves in tiny little things about himself. He just starts talking about like his problems with his mom. He doesn't know if he wants to commit and like, I don't know what he's saying, but he's just like, well, I'm, I think I'm a good guy, but I don't know. Like Through every conversation and like life topic that we go through, he kind of says a tiny little thing that like would like make him fish for compliments basically. And so yeah, Samantha's like, girl, we gotta go. I'm like, okay, like it's been such a nice night with you. Like, thank you for this talk but my group is going and I'm gonna go, so, hi. And he was just like looking at me like, I don't know, I can't explain it. Like, he was just like, and I'm just like, okay. Uh, I start walking away 
right? I see Samantha as I'm walking out, and she grabs me. She's like, I'm a girl. Looks like you guys hit it off. And I'm like, we did. Like it was so good. And she's like, it happened between you guys. Like, I'm like, no, but he got my number. We start walking down, and then she's like, you know, there's something weird. Like something that rubbed me off about him. And I'm just like, me too. And then I start telling him about like the kind of like he was kind of like saying, am I a bad person? Like I'm all like just all this stuff. And he's and she's like, that is really weird. So as we're walking down now, we see the friend that was trying to hook up with Samantha, right? Walking up. Do you know what Samantha did? She grabbed his arm and was like, What is the deal with your mate, Swedish Prince? And he's like, who? By the way, guys, we were like drank, but like legit, she was like, Swedish Prince, your mate, like, like hot hunk. And he's like, oh. <laughs> And Samantha's like, what are you laughing at? And he's like, nothing, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. And Samantha's like, tell me right now, what is his deal? Like, what, like, there's something off about him. Didn't even try anything with Rita. I was like, have you seen Rita? He's like, <laughs> he has a girlfriend. Yeah, that's not all. He has a girlfriend and, um, this is his exact words. He's like, yeah, he has a lot of problems. He has a girlfriend and um, he always goes to clubs every Friday and Saturday night to just chat up girls to boost his confidence. I'm not joking. I'm not, tell me why his friend said that. I am not capping, like that is what his friend said. Why, 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 why? First of all, why are you friends with this guy? Secondly, you're not the best wingman to just, you know, freaking snitch on your mates like that to me, like... I mean, I'm glad that you did so I know the full story, but like, what? I've never heard of that before. I have heard of guys going to bars to like, pick girls up, right? Obviously, whatever. But to go to a club and talk to girls to, you know, have confidence, so he knows that he still got it or something? What do you mean? He's like, they're like gonna get engaged. Like he wants to propose to her. Like, yeah, he fully has a girlfriend. He, he's been doing this for years now. He full on said, not even he tries to hook up with girls. He just said he likes to talk to other women so he can get his confidence up because he has low self-esteem and he always doubts himself. What? Why? Who? Where? Huh? Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Like, have you seen your son? Anyways, it doesn't matter, but that is effed up, and I'm like, you are a damaged boy. And I'm so happy that I found that out, because I would have been like, what is this beautiful man's deal? But the story doesn't stop there. So, Samantha's like, wow, I'm in total shock. I didn't say anything, I'm just like, and I whoop. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're gonna go downstairs, because it's 4 a.m., and like, <laughs> Samantha's like, okay, bye, like, see you never, later. And so we're going downstairs now, and that's it. The end of the night, right? The end of the night. Okay. Story's over, right? No. Story not over. Story is not over. Tell me why I was in my bus sleeping, sleeping at 7 o'clock in the morning driving to Berlin, right? Tell me why when I wake up. Tell me why I wake up and the missing caller ID is Swedish Prince. This guy decides to call me at like 7 or 8 a.m. And I'm just like, why? For what? For why? Like, he would have said what? Exactly. Like, what? please, in the comments down below, tell me what he would have said. Hey, it's like so nice. Like, I have a girlfriend. It was so nice to see you. Like, what? Left it at that and just headed off to Berlin to live my best life. To this day, I don't know why he called me, but you know, it was a fun night. It was a fun experience. I had the time of my life. I always tell you guys a moral of the story after every single story time that I do, because I think that the smartest people learn from their mistakes, but even smarter people learn from other people's mistakes. And you know, nothing was a mistake, but just a lesson that don't be afraid to come up to guys and talk to them. And even if they have ulterior motives, just don't, you know, don't trust every single guy that you talk to. Don't trust every single guy that gives you a compliment about your kind eyes. 
you know, just have fun, take everything with a grain of salt, learn about the world around you, and don't be afraid to ask questions and, you know, get to the bottom of things and investigate. Because if that girl didn't grab his mate, I would never have known that. Still to this day, I would have been like, what just happened? You know what I'm saying? I hope that that gave you some value and I hope that that definitely gave you some entertainment. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.